back, people, to another episode of Dorito and <laughs> the Lucha Carver. Uh, today, people, we're going to do our uh, first service on our BMS Stallion, people. And, and today, we're going to do... Oh, look at this. we got to clean it up, too, people. Uh, we're going to do an oil change on it and, and just kind of go over some basic things with you, people. So, uh, stay tuned uh, as we service... RBMS. Rock on. Look, I'm Lord God King Tard. Now over here, people, we have uh, a few items that you're going to need to service your BMS. We have over here, we have our uh, oil. Uh, we're using uh, today a uh, Valvoline 1040. It's a four-stroke oil specifically made for... Uh, a wet clutch application, superior wet clutch protection, and maximum power transfer, and smooth shifting, people. That's very important uh, if you happen to need to shift. Uh, we also have a filter. We have a 17 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Uh, it's 11 sixteenths, uh, depending on what uh, you used to work on uh, in your younger days. We also have a filter wrench and, of course, a drain bucket, people. Recycle your used oil. We like to save the sea turtles. So we're going to get under this thing and show you what it's all about. So stay tuned. Have you ever felt like there's someone up there looking down on you? Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Welcome back, people. What we're going to do uh, to get down to our uh, engine here is we got to take our seats out and our engine cover. So we're going to do that now with... Without any further ado, you just pull the little latch down there and pull the seat forward and straight out. You can put that off to the side. And there you already see, you can see your fuel tank, your fuel filter, all this neat stuff under there. Let's go to the other side and do the rest of the job, okay? This is bright! Holy crap! Okay, we pull the little latch here. Don't ding! And then we take the seat out from the other side. Careful not to uh, damage your ranchero on your way out. And then we, that just leaves us with the engine cover here, people. You pull the engine cover up, slide it forward, and out. This is not a big block Chevy oil pan like we once thought before. Let's put that to the side also. And here you can see the inner workings of our BMS. Come on in and see. Can you see it there, people? That's our engine. Okay, down here. Down here, we have our oil filter. We'll be replacing that. We'll also be going underneath to drain the oil. So let's do that now. Stay with us, people. Rock on. Okay, people. We're underneath our BMS now. And this right here is our drain plug. By the way, good to see you too, other cam. <laughs> this is our drain plug, people, right here. And this is uh, what we're gonna loosen up to drain the oil. Now we've already taken the liberty of warming up our BMS. So it uh, gets all its juices flowing and everything flows uh, smoothly out of the drain plug. Smoothly. Once you break it loose, you may have to give it a snap or two. You can get the rest by hand. Now, careful not to spill any of this because we still don't want to harm the environment. Now, even after 200 miles, people, this oil still looks pretty good. Can you see that? Can you see that from where you are? I'm sure you could see it from over there, though. Still looks pretty good, people. We got a couple quarts of oil here that we've got to uh, that we've got to get drained. So we'll let that drain, and we'll get back to you. Stay tuned. Okay, now, people. As you can see, here is our oil filter. We'll take our oil filter wrench and go right down like this and loosen it up. It's on gluten tight for sure. And you'll want to replace it gluten tight. Now, 
this will cause a mess. But that's your oil filter housing right there, people. And that's your oil filter. All right, we're gonna put a new oil filter on. We'll be right back with you. Live here, people, with a public service announcement about your BMS Stein 600 fuel injector, people. More uh, so about the uh, oil filters. Now, we try to change the oil, people, and you must use the original equipment filter, people, because no matter what filter you cross-reference, it will not fit. A Fram, a Napa, we had a Wix, we had uh, a Mobile One filter. None of them work, people. Let me show you. Let me get up close and personal, if you don't mind. And I'll show you why. There's a bell here that's inset. It's concave. And that's necessary to clear the adapter for the oil filter, the part that it screws onto. If you look at these other ones, they're not concave like that, but they have these uh, little rims that stick up. And these rims will bottom out before the O-ring seal gets tight. And this will cause a major oil leak, people. Major oil leak. They will not work. Although they screw on and they will tighten, they will leak. Don't use them. So here at Dorito and the Leach Copper, we are telling you, only use original equipment, BMS oil filters. You'll be happy. Rock on, people. Please stand by for further details. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, people. Now that we've got our drain plug uh, underneath tightened down to uh, 11 T luchin meters, we can go now and uh, install our oil filter. People, original equipment oil filter. Remember that. What we need to do is take our filter and take a little bit of oil. You dip your finger in there, like so. And then you take that oil and you just kind of wipe it right around there. Hey, there's the neighbors. Hey, neighbors. So you get your uh, seal all lubricated. We love lubricated seals, don't we? Okay, now once we get that lubricated. Oh, hey, what's up, Left Cam? Good to see you today. Have you seen our lubrication? Remember, lubricate your seal uh, before every meal. Is that a saying? Okay, we're gonna install this now, people. So now that we're lubricated, we can go take it and put it on our adapter and screw it down tight. And again, once the seal hits the, the base, you screw it down to uh, uh, 11 T luchin meters. Good and tight. And that way we're insured. No oil leaks. Now let's go fill it up, shall we? Come with me. Okay, people, now it's time to fill it up with oil. You'll need your uh, multi-purpose funnel here for that, so you don't make a mess everywhere. You've seen Dorito make a mess, and what happens after that? We don't want that to happen here, people. So we'll put our funnel in there, people, and we'll start with a quart of oil. Again, Valvoline 1040, wet clutch, wet clutch oil. Make sure it's wet clutch. And look, it's even got a picture. It's almost a picture of our BMS, almost. And we'll start here with one quart. We'll pour it in slowly. Cause it's kind of cold up here, people. After we put in this one quart, we'll check our level to see where we're at. Oh, look at it go. It's a thirsty one, people. She's thirsty. You heard about them thirsty ones, haven't you? This is thirsty, all right. She's drinking almost a whole quart so far. And there we go. One quart of oil in, people. One quart down. One quart down. Okay. And remember, people, recycle your used oil. We love the sea turtles. Okay. Let's see where that puts us on our dipstick. <laughs> That's a funny word, isn't it, people? <laughs> dipstick. Okay. Okay. And as you can see by this level, we're nowhere near. So let's put this back in, wipe up the drop we just spilled. Remember, cleanliness is very important, people. And we'll add our second quart. Let's do that now. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, people, we're three quarts into this and uh, it's time to start this up and uh, check our level after it's all uh, been circulated. So uh, let's start it up and recheck the level. Join me, won't you? Now 
Now's a good time to check for leaks, people. Make sure that you don't have any oil raining out the bottom of your BMS. Oil rain sucks! It looks as if our filter is sealing well. And I see nothing down here either. So let's shut this off and check our level again, shall we? All right. Now that we've got everything circulated, let's see where we're at. And as you can see, it's on the low mark. See, it's on the low mark. Right there, see it? We're gonna have to add some more. So we're gonna top this off, people. And then we're gonna get back to you on the final uh, setup on this, okay? So stick with us, we'll be back for more. Rock on. Okay, people, we've got this all topped off. It took us about four quarts uh, to do the complete uh, service. Everything's topped off. And now the only thing left to do after your oil change is put your seats and your cover back on. But before you do that, people, I know I didn't show it, but you really need to put a wrench on all your bolts, people. Make sure everything is snugged up tight and everything is, is torqued down to its, its proper luchin meters, people. Because I can't stress enough, you don't want your stuff flying off on the trail, people. So that's part of this 200 mile service, people, is to tighten all the bolts. Shocks, uh, wheels, uh, any nut, uh, all the bolts that are attached, any hose clamps, any everything that you can get your wrench on. Tighten it up, people, because I can't stress it enough. Things come apart! <laughs> and if you can, use Loctite at all times. So that pretty much concludes our 200-mile our first service, people. Uh, and, and as you can see, it's pretty simple. Even a luch could do it. And I did. Well, with, <laughs> with all these slight problems, people. But hey... If you feel like you can do it, you can do it. So, rock on, people. And don't forget, Luke's Bob. Pop a corn for the children. We're <laughs>